Welcome guys again with a new video session in our BBC tutorial series. So today what we have you think if you read this label you know anything about it like the master control. Oh what is the master control? Okay, it's something related to safety and something related to protection for equipment and sometimes for uh, people working as well. So as you can see in, in this image, like we have a lock, like we create a lock, and that lock will prevent a section of the program or prevent the whole program from running. Like for example, here you can see. I'm sorry, starting with the uh, the assembly one, this one. Like you can see here, if you notice, oh, I know, I can hear your voice, like you telling me hey, this is very weird. It's not. Uh, like the letter you told us or the or the series <coughs> yes this because this is one is just to describe what's going on with the master control so this is an example like i have a contact and this contact called m100 and this contact okay already coming from a relay which is a master control relay m100 and the input one which will be like a switch or a safety condition like you have a safety condition if for example you have a machine and that machine has uh, a guard and this guard like uh, preventing the people to be inside while the machine is running so i have uh, two locks one in the front and one of the end for example to uh, the back door and the rear door and once these are like uh, safe and they closed so that means the safety control relay will be uh, on or activated or energized and once this relay activated so this bus will be uh, closed and the you remember i told you the left line is the hot uh, uh, line of power and the right line is the uh, neutral line so let's throw something here to make it very clear to you so once this one okay so once this one is uh, closed, the, the rear door and the front door are closed. So this one will be energized. So this one for sure will be energized. Let's say this is for highlighting here. This one will be energized. Once this one is energized, that means this one will be closed. Once this one is closed, so all rung now can be supplied by the bar and the program will work or the section of the program will work like if this is uh, closed okay and this is closed so this one will uh, turn on okay but if this one is still open so this one not working and uh, according to the logic this thing will work but the point here is if for example we we have like uh, this one here i need like uh, something to uh, like uh, like a gum or something like this to remove this uh, this thing but i don't see this thing is uh, this okay so i'm deleting this thing so if this thing is uh, is is not open or one door for this this door for example uh, are one of them or both are open so this one will not be energized anymore for the master control and this is open so no one of these runs will get the power line uh, to be energized so however if this one is closed this one is closed so this one will never uh, run you know why yes correct because the line power already is disconnected because of the uh, master control relay i think you waited now so what is the next one the next one is i'm telling you this is the whole program but you can divide your program into zones like this and they make many uh, a uh, master control so you can have like one master control for or but you can throw the program you make this zone protected by a, by another uh, master control here and this one with another master control here and so on so very very clear i think it is clear but let's go to our lab to see how this thing could be implemented so now imagine you have first this uh, relay so this relay like for example at address uh, one uh, zero uh, zero 
18.0.0.18.0 and this one I will call it like the MCR master control relay so this thing I told you it will be depending on many many things to be conditioned like this one will be the door one like this is 100 okay and this one will be m1.1 and this one will be m.1.2 okay but let's name this one the front door this is the front door okay of the guard okay and this one i call it like this is this is the the rear rear door okay of the guard and the last one for example let, let, let's let's be like initiate or uh, start starter like uh, activate we can see activate 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 uh, logic control okay so now i will use this one mcr for the whole program so imagine i have here a the logic like i have here latching for this motor like i showed you many times like this one and then i have here stop button like this one will be like uh, for example this is start push button m one dot uh, uh, three and this one will be the stop button like m one dot four and let's see this is our motor do we have a motor here no so m one dot five and let's call this one as a motor this one is our motor okay that we need to run here in this logic and this one uh, i told you it will be like the start button push button and this one will be like the stop push button stop push button okay for emergency stop and this one for sure it is our motor okay and i forget one thing like i need to make a protector here so this one should be the mcr okay and so on in this uh, in the whole program like i can repeat many many runs okay uh, but no need for saving the time like i just to show you this is a program okay and once the motor is running this is our motor okay once it's running like for uh, like for uh, 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 a time for example this is uh, this is a timer let you on timer you don't have any idea about the timer uh, up to this moment so you can easily go into our uh, section or our lecture that uh, we have uh, uh, nailed of the timer and talk about the timer so you can review it both and review it if you want so i i will both like this is after 10 seconds like t t 10 second okay yes after 10 seconds what happened after 10 seconds i will like a stop on my motor again so i will like uh, i will like uh, stop my motor so i will uh, make one stop up here like this one will be m uh, five six okay and i will see this uh, stop motor motor after time okay and i will put this one here in the this one so stop motor after time and for sure yes you are very correct so i need it like to be uh, in the negative logic because when this one is activated so it will separate the motor from the uh, chance to get the power here so it will be uh, disconnected for sure so um, this is the logic i'm writing here like uh, uh, not a specific logic but i i want to show you 
the, the program, what the program uh, will, will, will be performing uh, when we activate the master control and when we not deactivate the master control. And also, I want to show you one other thing, like uh, at any time in the program, you can, you can deactivate the uh, master control. And by deactivating the master control at any time, at any time or when you connect the master control with the specific errors that happen to secure your, your equipment, to secure your people. So once the, the master control deactivated at any time, so the program will stop to work. So here, uh, I will make something like, uh, like, uh, like uh, once this timer, it will stop the, the motor, okay? And, uh, and once the motor is stopped, what happens is, once the motor here is stopped, what happened, what happened here is here like there's no pass here for the uh, for the uh, motor so this one will not con contacting anymore until the motor run again so this one will stop after counting it will stop the motor okay and you need to uh, after starting the motor so you need to start the motor again so this is the logic here and and but before of this I need to uh, deactivate uh, by if error like if I have one error here like um, zero uh, five for example and this thing is like uh, one error like this uh, this thing is uh, the uh, error here uh, rename like this one is error happened okay one of critical errors so what happened here is to deactivate this one which is um, in CR so this in CR I need to deactivate so I will make it like this okay so deactivate the MCR and once I deactivate the MCR uh, so I need again to make this thing happen again okay okay so if that happen I need to deactivate uh, my MCR reset so I can like this one activate uh, logic I yes I can Make this activate logic to so this one is uh, activate activate logic so activate logic here once you deactivate the logic so what happened here it will be like this okay so let's see what's going on so let's simulate this one so open our simulator Uploading our program, it will upload the program automatically because the, pro the program now, since uh, there is a controller or a simulator for a controller, so the program is downloaded to from the PC to your controller. And see, so you go going with the wizard to load your uh, program, so it's very easy now to start your program like this and see what's going on here. So it is running now. So this is your simulator. What happened? As expected, nothing, nothing. Why? Because all the time the power line is disconnected from every single line in the program because it is already deactivated. Okay. Okay. So once I activate uh, this gate, okay. So if I activate this gate like this and activate the other uh, door like this so now the program is running the master control is running and now the program all line of program are activated now okay so i just need to start my motor to press uh, operator to press uh, the button so hey my uh, mic and uh, now the the master control is activated so just start your uh, bump or your program uh, then he uh, going to the front panel and just uh, click the motor so the motor now is running counter is uh, this is the logic of the program counter continue for the 10 second okay and once reaching to the 10 second what i expect is a stop this stop or will stop the motor again okay but all that time you can see is there's no error happening so the program is still running but uh, yeah Let's see. Yeah. If I at any time, but I want to continue like this. Actually, I, I took a long time. Supposed to be less than this, but let, let it be con continue until reaching six seconds, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 
it is it is deactivated this one the stopper but when activating this this stopper so motor after time so stop the motor after time this one is disconnected but what happened is because I requesting this and this that chamber already so it is again this one instantly working again and, and continue so what I need to check here if the master control any error happen and make the master control energized so oh my program stopped nothing happened because there is an error to save the equipment save everything so everything is not working as you can see because what because the MCR detected one error so the MSR is deactivated and the program stopped thanks for watching my friend and be ready to meet again I can't wait until I meet you again in the next video in our series of BBC Ladder Logic Programming. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. Thank you.